At Jewelry, one of the most recent layers consists of paintings in solid white. And we believe that most of these were made in the early to mid-1900s. In this particular part of Jewelry, we see uh, a number of hunting activities depicted in the art. For instance, we have a figure here standing at the end of a dugout canoe, someone else paddling behind, and he's got a large harpoon aimed at a sea turtle swimming away below. Just above, someone has just fired us a multi-pronged spear into the back of a crocodile. Further along, there's this wonderful portrayal of someone who's just jumped into a creek or river and is swimming up behind a long-necked tortoise, about to grab it. And they even defined the creek or river bank with these two lines. And just down below are a number of figures in another dugout canoe. There's uh, one in the middle that seems to be blowing something, uh, trumpeting the, uh, some sort of success. And indeed, this figure has fired a harpoon attached to a really long line all the way into a dugong. If we follow this line across, we see it goes past a, a fighting scene where someone has just fired a spear um, into uh, the torso of a, another figure with a spear thrower. There are other scenes, and here is the end of the line in this dugong. And of course that's exactly what happens when people traditionally hunted a dugong. The creature would quickly swim far away and it would take quite a while to actually haul it in. So here we have a record of lots of different traditional activities. And these can be found right across the, the panel at the main gallery. It's almost as if during the last visits to the site, people wanted to record their traditions before they disappeared.